There now, Duchess. That's better. We must both look our best for Georges. He's our oldest and dearest friend, you know. Come in. <gasps> Announcing Monsieur Georges. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness, Edgar. I know it's yours. Adelaide! My, my dear. So good to see you, Georges. Ah, still softest hands in all Paris, eh? <laughs> You're a shameless flatterer, Georges. <laughs> Adelaide, that, that's music. It's from Carmen, isn't it? That's right. It was my favorite role. Yes, yes. It was the night of your grand premiere that we first met, remember? Oh, indeed I do. And how we celebrated your success. Champagne, dancing the night away. Ah, Georges, we're just a pair of sentimental old fools. <laughs> now, Georges, do be serious. I've asked you to come here on a very important legal matter. Oh, splendid, splendid. Who do you want me to sue, eh? <laughs> Oh, come now, George. I don't wish you to sue anyone. I simply want to make my will. Will, eh? Will, will. Now then, who are the beneficiaries? Well, as you know, I have no living relatives, and naturally, I want my beloved cats to be always well cared for. And certainly no one can do this better than my faithful servant, Edgar. Edgar! Adelaide, you mean to say you're leaving a vast fortune to Edgar? Everything you possess? Stocks, bonds, this this mansion, your country chateau, our treasures, jewels, and... Oh, no, no, Georges, to my cats. To your cats? Cats? Yes, Georges. I simply wish to have the cats inherit first. Then, at the end of their lifespan, my entire estate will revert to Edgar. Cats inherit first, and I come after the cats. I, me, after no one. It's, it's not fair. Oh, I mean, each cat will live about 12 years. I can't wait. And, and each cat has nine lives. That's four times 12 and multiplied by nine times. No, it's less than that. Anyway, it's much longer than I'd ever live. I'll be gone. No. Oh, no. They'll be gone. I'll think of a way. <laughs> there are a million reasons why I should. All of them dollars. Millions. Those cats have got to go.